So one of the proposals, I think both the House and the Senate are talking about delaying the payment cycle. In other words, instead of, of having to, to make uh, further cuts, we're actually talking about delaying the cycle, which basically gives us more money to operate with. And um, I think both chambers are, you know, talking about several hundreds of millions of dollars uh, by delaying those, uh, by delaying that payment cycle. And so that that allows us to uh, to not have to cut quite as deep in some of those uh, individual line items. And of course, I, I would say from a provider standpoint, uh, they would rather even though they know the money's coming late, they would rather at least not have that funding cut uh, with the knowledge that they're going to, that the trade-off is that the payments are going to come in late. Now, of course, this whole backlog of unpaid bills is a part of this whole discussion because we, we, we aren't paying our bills from last year. And now, of course, now we're talking about extending the payment cycle uh, into next year. So, and we haven't addressed this backlog for the current year. So it's, uh, it's not a good situation. Let's talk more about that backlog bills. I mean, you guys are saying you could save the state some money, but wouldn't that hurt you for the 2013 budget? It would just keep rolling, rolling over like a big. Absolutely. Million. I mean, it's it's uh, so whenever you extend that cycle, I mean, well, I mean, it's a trade-off. So if you make the cuts, obviously that are, that's going to hurt individual individuals, and of course, lay there'll be a tremendous amount of job cuts and layoffs. So that's that's one option. The other option is to delay that cycle. But that is a, a short-term fix because you're, you're simply rolling over, uh, you know, the payments that are due, due to these providers. You're rolling those over. You're extending them out into the next year. So, but the thought is, you know, the economy is starting to recover. Uh, we're, uh, you know, next year we are anticipating some additional revenues coming into the state. The year after that, hopefully the economy is going to continue to cover. We're going to have recover. We're going to have more dollars to work with. So uh, in the long run, uh, you know, we're, we're optimistic that uh, there will be some additional revenue coming into the state. That's going to allow us to reduce some of the impact of those cuts. And Senator, would you say that both House and Senate, they could actually agree on this solution? Well, we have to. I mean, there's really no, uh, that's not an alternative. Uh, at some point in time, we're going to have to agree. Uh, I, we are working off of some different numbers right now, and of course that revenue number is probably the biggest obstacle that I see. Uh, the, the Senate has taken the position that we're anticipating around $34 billion in revenue for next year. The House is work, operating off of a, a $33 billion number, so that's, that's a billion dollars difference. And, and what that means is we know we're going to have to make cuts. We know we're going to have to cut a billion. The House is trying to cut $2 billion. And uh, so it's a very significant number. And uh, at some point in time, we're going to have to reconcile that revenue number. Once we do that, then we'll be able to reconcile the budgets, the, the appropriation or the spending budgets that we're working on here in the House. We'll have to reconcile those with the uh, spending and revenue um, expenditure appropriation budgets that they're working on in the, uh, I said the Senate, I meant the House and the Senate. So we're going to have to reconcile those at some point in time. Are you personally worried that you guys have 21 days or? until three weeks. I think it, I think everybody's, you know, concerned. We're getting down, uh, you know, to uh, we're running out of days. We're running out of time. Although we have made a lot of progress. Uh, there has been an unbelievable amount of work that's been accomplished with, uh, with regard to going through these agency budgets, looking at them line item by line item, trying to make some of those tough decisions as to where we can cut and where we don't think we should cut and so on and so forth. So we've done a lot of work. But it's still going to take time to kind of bring all this together. But no, I mean, I'm, obviously we're getting, yes, I'm concerned, but yet I, I, I think it's very doable. We still have plenty of time to do what we need to do. But of course, there are other outstanding issues that we need to address as well. You know, workers' comp, uh, something that uh, definitely we need to be, uh, you know, we're pushing very hard to get a, a comprehensive workers' compensation reform bill passed. Uh, this backlog of unpaid bills, you know, five, six billion in unpaid bills. Uh, that providers are waiting on, uh, school districts, universities are waiting on. That issue hasn't been addressed yet, and that's something. So we, we still have a lot to do just in, besides the budget. Right, anything else, Senator? I guess not.